Hi everyone, welcome to the fourth and last part of this tutorial series where we are texturing this tuk-tuk model. In this final part we will be dealing with the glass parts and render the final image in Maya. In the last part I forgot to enable one of the Chrome folders, so let's make it visible so when we export out the textures we can see the result in Maya. Let's set up a quick material for the roof, adding a folder with a black mask and selecting the associated geometry. And finally a fill layer for the base with a black color and a basic rough value. Now let's add a fill layer only affecting the roughness, add the texture, in this case grunge rust fine. Set it to triplanar, adjust its scale and balance. Finally adding a levels adjustment to control the roughness values. Let's add a dirt layer setting up the base color and roughness. Now we'll add the dirt smart mask and adjust some of the basic settings. This might be a bit too much, we'll check in the end if we need any adjustment. Let's export out the textures and go to Maya. Doing a render in Maya, we can see the result of the roof material and also the chrome ornaments with less rust that we forgot to enable in the last part. One thing I'm noticing is the distorted or blurry look in the front window. First I thought it was the anisotropy in the glass shader, but in this case if we adjust the skydome white resolution to a higher value, we can get rid of it. Alright, let's get back to substance. Now we'll need to change the shader to support an opacity channel for the front windshield and headlights. So for that go to shader settings and change the shader to PBR metal rough with alpha blending. We still need to add the opacity channel to the shader, so in texture set settings add a new channel opacity. Finally, we can add a fill layer only affecting opacity and set it to white to fill the, all the UV tiles. So let's add a new folder and mask out the windshield. We can also add a fill layer with a noticeable color to highlight our geometry. Changing now the base color, adjusting also the roughness and set the opacity to a low value. This way we can now have a preview of our opacity channel. Create a new folder and add a fill layer, setting up a base color and roughness value. Duplicate the fill layer and change slightly the color and the roughness. Now we can add a mask to the second fill and add a texture to blend between the two fill layers. Finally, add a smart mask to the dust folder and change some of the attributes to create the effect of dust on top of the glass. Let's go to export textures and create a new channel for the opacity. Then just export out the textures. Now in Maya let's select the basic glass material and rename it. Load in the opacity channel, now, not forgetting to set the UV tiling mode to UD Mary. Creating a color correct node, since we will need it later to invert the opacity channel. 
We also need to load in the base color and add a color correct node to adjust the saturation. And finally the roughness channel. If we do a render, it's not looking nowhere near the Substance Painter results. What we need to do is to invert the opacity channel, since the transmission weight in Arnold works in, in reverse to opacity. White is fully transmissive and black is opaque. If we invert the color correct node, we finally get the result we're looking for. Let's also take the time to adjust the saturation and contrast of the base color, so it adds a bit more color to it. I also added a color correct to the roughness and changed the gamma attribute. And this is the resulting image, doing a full render. Getting back to Substance, let's finish off our textures working on the headlights. Create a new folder and mask out the target geometry. Add a fill layer and set up a basic glass material with a low roughness and opacity. Now in a new fill layer affecting only the eye channel, let's add a brick generator. Just add the necessary repetition to one of the axes to create that familiar headlights bump look. Let's duplicate the headlights folder so we can work on the lateral ones, since the UVs were not set up with the same texel density. Now we just need to create the mask and change the repetition of the brick pattern for the lateral headlights so it looks similar to the middle one. With the textures exported, let's get back to Maya. Create a new material for the headlights and load in the height channel. Connect it to a bump to the node and finally to the normal camera of the shader. Set the transmission weight to 1 and let's do a render. As you can see we get a lot of rust in the headlights so we need to get back to substance and remove some of that effect. Let's select the chrome front folder and paint out the rust in the UV view. Finally, export out the textures once again. Back to Maya, instead of loading the roughness channel, we can just set a lower global value and do a render to see how it looks. Let's also decrease the transmission weight, lower the bump effect and do a final render. Alright, this is our final result, not perfect, we could still adjust the textures in Substance, but this will do for now since we already covered the entire process of texturing these assets, and by now you should be a bit bored with all the back and forth between Substance and Maya. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial series and looking forward to make more like this in the future. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.